welcome to a Makeup Monday video. So today's video is my three of a kind project update um, and it is coming to you a week early this month um, because I'm going to be starting a new project pan at the end of the month. So this three of a kind project has had to be shifted forward a week. And so because of that, um, <laughs> I haven't used everything in my three of a kind project this month. I haven't worn makeup very much at all. Um, a, just simply because I haven't felt like doing my makeup, but also because I actually have a really sore eye at the moment. It's all really flaky and sore and um, puffy and I really don't want to be putting eye makeup on because of that. I don't even want to be putting mascara on or anything. I suppose I could still be doing my brows or something, but I just haven't and so yeah I could be painting my nails but I haven't so I have used a couple of items so let's start off with the nail polishes that I had for last month and I was working on these three so I've used one out of the three and that is my Sally Hansen uh, this one is in Therapeuta and I love this colour. I absolutely adore this colour, but I'm not too impressed with the polish itself because uh, this chipped within two or three days um, and I used two coats, but I think it could have done with a third coat just to like add a bit more depth and a bit more opaqueness to the colour of this on my nails. Um, I did um, take a picture and I think I posted it on my Instagram. Um, I will link my Instagram for you down below so you can go check that out. Um, but yeah, I did like this colour. Um, I, I, I really love the colour. But I wasn't too impressed with the formula and so I'm really glad that I didn't pay full price for this. Uh, because Sally Hansen nail polishes are about $9.99 uh, here in the UK and I only paid $2.99 for this from uh, TJ Hughes um, so I'm really glad that I didn't pay a tenner for this because if I'm going to be paying a tenner for a nail polish I definitely don't want it chipping after 48 hours so I'm really glad I got this discounted not quite as miffed about it um, but uh, yeah I do like this one. It will be staying in my collection, but I'm just going to know that this one is a chipper. Now, out of the other two colours, uh, this little tiny Mavala, which has a gorgeous holographic shade. Look at that. Um, I'm kind of disappointed with myself because when I was picking my colours, um, I don't understand why I actually picked this one out other than getting excited that I could use this because the whole point of this project is for me to rotate through my collection and use um, products from my collection that I haven't had much use from and as you can see this is already down to here so I've already had plenty of use from this little bottle already since getting it in the Manny and Lola box. So why did I pick it? Because I know that I love it, because I know that it's beautiful, because I know that it's gorgeous, I know it has a longevity that I'm happy with. Why did I pick it? The whole point of this project is to use items I've not had much use of. <laughs> I, so from now on, I'm going to try and pick items from the three categories that I'm picking that I haven't used before and prioritise them because I know that I love this. So I know the rule is that if I don't use it in the month that it's originally picked, I have to use it for a second month. Um, I have to keep it in for a second month, but I'm not going to with this one because I know I love this one. There's no point in me using it because I know I love it. I've used it quite often. 
Um, so I am going to take this one out of the project, even though I haven't actually used it. But yeah, my project, my rules. Um, <laughs> and I can break them if I want to. But I am going to keep the Jessica polish in, in Boho Babes, because I have never worn this since I received it in my Manny and Lola box. Um, I don't know about the longevity. I don't know how these were. In fact, I don't think I've worn any of the Jessica nail polishes that I got in my Manny and Lola boxes. So um, I can't specifically remember using any of them. So, and even if I did, I can't remember. So <laughs> I am going to keep this one in the project. So this will be in for a second month. So I will definitely have to try and use this at least once in June. So that is staying in. When we're looking at my lip products, I used two out of the three lip products and I bet you can guess which one I didn't use. The red lippy sticks. So I said when I picked this out that I do not wear red lipsticks very often, if at all. And I picked out a red lippy stick. This is in Lullaby. It is a matte X um, formula and it's a pretty colour. I just don't wear red lipsticks. This did come in a set though. So like I didn't purposely buy a red. So I'm kind of forgiven for having this in my collection. But um yeah red lipsticks is not something i typically wear very much but you will be happy to know that this is actually going to go into my new project pan so sneak peek um i'm determined that i am going to get some use out of this like i'm just determined to use this so much um because i am aware that makeup does expire and I do want to try and get myself to wear a red lipstick, even if it's just once a month. Um, so, yes, uh, sneak peek, this is going to go into my new project pan. Um, so this is going to stay in the three of a kind project. Or should I take it out of the three kind project because it's going to go into the new project pan? Hmm. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's going to go into my new project pan, which is going to run for approximately about six months. So should I take this out of the three of a kind project in, and just put it in the new one? So let me know in the comment section down below. But the other two uh, lip products I did use, I used both of these. So the first one I'm going to talk about is my Sephora lip stain in the shade number because i can't remember what these ones are called number 38 it is a beautiful deep color kind of matches my top um i like these i really like these um they are so comfortable to wear yes when you first apply them you do feel like they're sucking the life out of your lips a little bit but after a while that sensation sort of tends to disappear and you just feel like you have nothing on your lips like you do not feel anything on your lips. The colour is stunning. The formula is stunning. I love these. The only problem I found with these was at the end of the day when I looked in the mirror, I had a bit of a line here and a bit of a, a patch here of this colour. And I thought, hmm, have I touched my lip and then scratched my chin or touched my face? And it's transferred? I don't know. So, yeah. Has anybody else had this problem with the Sephora lip stains? Let me know. Obviously, the Americans are more likely to answer those questions than the UK um, subscribers because uh, we don't get Sephora here in the UK. Um, but, yeah. Um, let me know because that was my experience with that. So that will be going back into my collection and stay in, but it's out of this project. And the other uh, lip product I use and will be going out of the project, but back into my collection because I loved it, was the Essence Matte 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 Lipstick in 03. This is an absolutely stunning colour. I love this. Again, kind of matches my jumper. This is my go-to colour of lipstick. I... 
absolutely love and adore this shade this is this is my shade this is what I like to wear what I prefer to wear what I will wear above any other color um, and I love the formula of these and it had some staying power because it is a matte uh, formula so oh, sneeze am I gonna sneeze no uh, so yeah, I really, really enjoyed uh, this and I will be uh, pulling these out again in the future. I can see myself. So on to the third and final uh, part of this project, which was the palettes. Uh, so I only used one of the palettes. I used my Tarte Be A Mermaid and Make Waves palette. I am so pleased and so proud of the fact that I finally used this palette again because as I said when I pulled this one out I have only used this once or twice since getting it and I love this palette. I mean that is stunning. It's beautiful and the inside is just as pretty. So there's all the shades and they're stunning. They're beautiful. I love them. So why? And I, oh, oh, I'm just so in love with that vanilla scent. Um, so I love this palette. Why am I not pulling it out more often? This was in another video that I did of um, products in my collection that I will never pan. And I guess that's what's stuck in my head. I don't ever want to completely use this up. I don't ever want to hit pan on any of these colours because this palette is so beautiful and so stunning and I want to preserve its beauty for as long as possible. Um, but I seriously, seriously do need to start pulling this out and using it more often because it was one of my more expensive palettes. I mean, come on, I normally buy Revolution. So buying a Tarte palette was a bit of a splurge for me. Um, but yeah, I really should pull this out more and use it because so far in the two years that I've owned it, I've used it maybe two or three times now. So I really need to pull this out a lot, lot more and give it a bit more love. That's for sure. Now, the other two palettes I didn't use, so they will be staying in the project and I will still be choosing another three palettes. Oh, to go in for the month of June. But the first one is the I Heart Revolution palette in One True Love. This is a beautiful palette. And I did go to use it uh, just the other day, uh, just before my eyes started playing up. Um, but I thought, no, 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 I should prioritize my project pan items first. And then later in the month, I will use this palette. Um, because I need to make sure that I'm using my project pan items because those are the items that I want to use up and make empty. Um, whereas this one, I just have to use it once and then it's done. Um, and so I, I prioritise using my project pan items instead of using this palette. I wish I just used this palette because now I'm going to have to try and use five palettes in the month of June plus my panning uh, project items. So yes, yeah, kind of stuffed myself up on that one. Um, but I do love these colours and this is a palette I have never used since I purchased it at the beginning of uh, 2020. Um, it came as a free gift, so a gift with purchase. So I really do want to play with it, but I just haven't yet. So this one is staying in my collection, uh, staying in the project. And then the other palette was the Revolution Rainbow Palette. And this one, I was going to do a project um, palette bingo with this because I just think this would be a perfect palette to do that with. Um, just look at those colours, they're stunning. Um, but again, I had the problem with my eyes and so never got around to doing the palette bingo video so i never got a chance to play with it and this is another palette that i have only swatched since buying so i really really need to have a play with it and yeah it's just uh, so uh the revolution uh rainbow palette 
the I Heart Revolution One True Love palette and the Jessica Boho Babes nail polish will stay in this project for another month um depending on what your comments are below please help a girl out should i or should i not keep the uh, colourpop lippy stick in lullaby in this project or because it's going into my new project pan that is coming at the end of the month uh should i just take it out of this project and put it in that one and um just do that so that is um, my update so let's go on to picking our new products so here I have my very large tub with all of my lipstick products in so let's feel around one two okay oh these are gonna be interesting so the first one I pulled out was another lippy stick from Colourpop and this is in Lumiere now I know that I like this one because uh, can you see how much I've actually used in there I thought I'd used a lot more actually but maybe not um, but yeah I have used quite a bit of this but this one is a really nice color so it is that shade so this one is going to be really easy to use up because I love this color and the next one is another color pop one now I don't know which one this is I think this one was a satin lip liquid lipstick and it is in the shade November but all of the writing has rubbed off the packaging so I don't know what type of liquid lipstick this is from Colourpop. I just know that it is from Colourpop. Um, and I think it is one of their satin lips. Not sure. I hate it when uh, the writing rubs off on packaging. Uh, but that is the shade there. So again, another kind of tone of this sort of, it's a bit more reddish brown. So yeah, that's about as red as I normally go. Oh, and this one's going to be interesting. So this is a lip sync uh, iridescent lip strobe. Uh, so this is like by Nails Ink, but their lip line. And this was, <laughs> this is in the shade Busy Unicorning. So this is going to be fun. Uh, so, so I don't know if you can see that. But that is what that's... <laughs> so that's going to be like a lip topper, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how to use that one. Uh, gives a nice iridescent sheen, that's for sure. I could use it as a highlighter, I suppose. Um, but that's not how I went to use it. Uh, so, yeah. I am going to be playing with all three of those lip products throughout June. Um, on to collecting our colors for the nail polishes so i have my whirly gig app and so here's the whirly gig let me turn the sound on because we love the sound good spin okay so we need a cream or a white that's going to be interesting second spin A pink Ooh. okay so cream and white cream or white a pink and what's our final color a yellow or a gold mmm now I don't have many yellows but I do have a couple of golds so uh, I will go and pick those out back in a moment so I have picked my colors so for a cream or a white i've gone for this kind of cream color which is from the essence gel nail polish collection now these are not actual gels you do not have to set these with a uv light or anything um and this one is in the shade dream on so 
it's a very pale cream so um and this one hasn't been used very much at all so um maybe one use before um and that's possibly from swatching it so yeah i'm going to use this as my cream or white nail polish for the pink i've come for quite a deep pink because um the rest of the nail polishes are a bit uh pastel -y. so i've gone for a deep color and this is an orly in the shade uh hawaiian punch so it is a pink with a flash of blue in there if you can see um blue or purple one of the two or a lighter pink i can't tell um but yeah it should be really pretty you can kind of catch the flash there um so yeah i'm going to try these um i i don't think i've used any of my orlies i might have tried one of them but i know that i haven't tried this one yet so i am going to use that as my pink and then for my yellow i picked an avon uh true um nailwear pro um in the yellow and this one is in the shade lemon obviously it's lemon uh so yeah i'm going to have this yellow one for the month now the three palettes that I've chosen, um, I've actually chosen two quite small palettes and one large because I'm quickly running out of room to store these in my everyday makeup drawer. So uh, the first palette I've chosen is actually a little egg. Do you remember these? These were the Makeup Revolution um, or the I Heart Revolution uh, little Easter eggs that they brought out a few years ago. And I have three of them and I can't open them. Them. so inside you have five uh, shadows there and then you have two highlighters but as you can see these highlighters would look a little bit strange on my face so I count these as eyeshadows just because I can't use them as highlighters I might get away with this one but I would definitely not get away with this one so I just call this a seven uh, pan eyeshadow palette in in my makeup inventory which will be coming soon by the way so yeah a couple of browns there and some stunning golds and uh, this nice shade here um, and I thought that these would be a really simple eye look um, or I could also use these alongside my project pan items um, so yeah I'm going to uh, try using that one throughout the month of June the next palette I want to use is my Lucky palette by I Heart Revolution. This came out for Valentine's Day this year. It's part of the Heartbreakers collection. I did haul these recently. Uh, so the love hearts are upside down there. But that is this palette. I think I did do a makeup look with this once since purchasing it. I can see a definite dip going in there and I know I use the yellow um, but I want to have a bit more of a play around with these colours um, so yeah I'm going to play with that one so that's the second palette and then the third and final palette that I'm going to put in today is the Soph X Extra Spice palette now um, I do like watching Soph, but I don't watch her as much as I used to. Um, but this was her second palette and it has some beautiful colours in here. And as you can see, not many of them have much use at all. Um, every time, well, I say every time, I've maybe used this three or four times, um, but I tend to stick to the same colours. Uh, the oranges and the browns so uh, yeah I'm going to have a bit of a play with this one and uh, hopefully get a bit more use out of this beautiful stunning palette so for the month of June I will be playing with the Soph X Extra Spice palette the I Heart Revolution Heartbreakers Lucky palette and the Revolution uh, golden easter egg 
as well as the I Heart Revolution One True Love palette and the Revolution Rainbow palette. That's a lot of palettes going on there. Um, the nail polishes I will be using will be the Jessica Boho Babes, the Orly uh, Hawaiian Punch, um, the Avon in Lemon and the Essence in Dream On. So those are all the colours. Hold them better. Those are all the colours that I will be attempting to use in June. And the lipstick products I will be using is the Colourpop Lippy Stick in Lumiere, the Colourpop Liquid Lipstick in November, the Lip Sync Lip Strobe in Busy Unicorning, and possibly, depending on what you decide, I may also be using the Colourpop Lippy Stick in Lullaby. So let me know on that one. Uh, so that is it that is my three of a kind project update for you i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video